guys, it's muffin sauce here. Not muffin saurus. Mind blown. So don't ask me why. I mean, I, I have a lot of people who is like, huh? It's muffin sauce, not muffin saurus? Why? Because the spelling is too long, that's why. <laughs> I'm not going to spell like saurus all the time, and people will most likely not remember it. Although there are a lot of times that people are just mistaken and call me muffin saurus, and I'm like, uh, okay, I just shake it off. It's actually muffin sauce. So today I'm going to do an unboxing of my enamel pins. I just received them in the mail a week ago and I have yet to open them. So I've designed my enamel pins from with my Procreate app and actually brought it over to AI and got it done into Vector where I, before I send it to my manufacturer to produce the pins, I am not going to share my manufacturer's contact. So don't ask me. Oh look, I'm wearing a Super Pago. It's done by another manufacturer and the person has since stopped working there so I decided to use someone else. Okay guys, welcome to my damn messed up and dusty and furry. Furry because of the cat's desk. So I want to show you how I did my enamel pin first. Look at all the fur! I didn't even bother to clean it off. <laughs> and I got this um, sticker that my goddaughter gave me. I put it on the camera because I'm paranoid about people spying on me. <laughs> Although I don't think it's possible but I, I serve weird shit and I don't want people to spy on me <laughs> when I'm doing weird shit. <laughs> oh anyway, um, where's my Procreate? Look at all my artwork. Uh, where's my enamel pin, enamel pin? Ah, there it is. I didn't even bother to like title it. So this, why do I even have watermark here? I don't remember. So these are my enamel pin artwork. I did them all in um, in my thing. I did them all in Procreate, so they are all not vector. They are all rested images. So it's um, it's like Photoshop and drawing. Then I will transfer this into the computer before I send it to the manufacturer. And for now, the colors looks a bit weird, but it will I will edit it again on the computer. So it's quite a tedious process, but this is basically how I do it. I'm, I'm not sure whether people got other ways of doing it. You can let me know in the comment section. Okay, let me just close. Okay, so basically this is my AI file and I've converted all of my, all my artwork into vector. So you can see they're all vector now. They're all line work and the colors are separated. So this is what the, this is the outline where they will do the enamel outline and then the colors. So for the unicorn, right, I have to give them special. I mean, I'm sure that they have designers that can do this for you. But as a designer myself, I like to give them proper instructions. Like um, my plate should be gold. So the outline is gold. I want my base to be gold. And I use a Pantone color to make sure that it's exactly the same. And this ladies and gentlemen is a pantone chart and it's expensive like hell and the color is expensive because the color is very accurate to print and if i'm looking for 243 c so i have to look over okay so 243 c where is it 243 c yeah this one so what i do is i will go through my pantone swatch and i will decide which color I feel fits the unicorn best and, and I will select the number I will go over to Photoshop there is this um, swatch okay, let me just draw a square here and I say I want this to be 243C and over here in the col oops over here I will just go to wait where's my Pantone swatch yeah I just go to swatches Swatches, then there is a, there's this little book thing here. Then you can go to Pantone. Where the hell is the Pantone? Color books. And you look for Pantone CMYK solid coated. No, no it's not CMYK. Ours is solid coated. Yep, mine is solid coated. So when they, they'll come up with this chart and you want to look for 243C. 
same as what you have here two four three and then you have it two four three c and if you this is what you get but it's more of a, a guide it's more of a number guide to let the printer know that this is the color you want and it might not look exactly same as the screen but it would definitely come out same in print wait let me go and get my print to show you okay i'm back so this is the paint that i got as you can see this is the pink and and my pantone swatch this is the color that i wanted and i put it and i actually said it um i gave instruction to the manufacturer that i want 243c pink let's see how accurate we are look at it is it clear can it be seen i'm actually filming with my iphone <laughs> oh there's blood on my thumb ignore that see it's like the same pink so i actually thought so okay do so you know what i mean i choose the pink that i want and the blue that i want just to make sure that um the pink color comes out exactly to what i wanted and i actually did that for all my pins i'm not going to go through all of them but it's just to show you this is what they look like and for most suppliers um, the more color you choose the more expensive the pin will be so for the corgi i thought that um, i felt that the black plate will look better than the gold so i i have to write black here and then you will draft the black then i have to do this button this you know, but this button area to let them know where i want it placed if i want it um if i want the button and somewhere else like let's say here and I move it here the supplier will produce it exactly the way it was or sometimes um, certain pins has like two and if I, ha if I have two uh, it will be an additional charge but they will follow exactly to your artwork and this is the patches pin it's looking shock and the cat pin where the little toes are the heart shape and they managed to do that yeah so um be realistic to be realistic you have to like flip it around this pin is is the same size it's it's meant to be cheaper but they didn't give me a discount i mean there's only two color but they told me that they already gave me a discount for the rest of the pin and everything and blah blah and the cost price is the same as the rest therefore there wasn't much discount but um i i hope you had a i hope you had a brief understanding of how um to create enamel pin but fear not you don't if you want to create your own pin you do not have to buy a pantone guide it's just if you want to be very anal about the color then you can use it i mean graphic designers use this for print all the time and even for like packaging posters for the print to be exactly the same color or even logos logos use like pantone swatch for the, the exact color of the logos but if you are just starting out and you want to create enamel pin you don't have to you don't have to get this because it costs like a few hundred bucks for this stack of pantone swatch usually the manufacturer will help you to match a color that is closest to what you want so it's okay if you don't want to use the pantone so don't worry so much about it i'm just sh sharing the process of how i do things okay here we have my package i actually took out the labels and cut it to take out all the invoices because i don't want you to know where i live <laughs> so let's start okay so i've always wanted to do this this is my patches the pirate pin look at how the quality hmm. Open it. it's made in go this is patches the pirate 
Yeah, just the pyro enamel pin and I can see a slight defect already if you can see the there is this uh thing. I mean I'm, I'm quite anal about this. So yeah there's a area here where the pin is uh not consistent. So usually this one I would reject but um okay let's we'll see how it goes. But yeah, here we have patches the enamel pin. So this is how the pin looks like the back. It's on gold plated. And you take it out. Gold plated. You spin it on your clothes or your bag. Or even on caps. I'm not sure whether people do this on caps. But yeah, I always wanted to do patches the pirate. Because um, patches is my cat, if you don't know. And we have another cat design. Ah, this is such a waste of plastic bag. Oh yeah, we have. I'm going to call this clean cat. For all my enamel pins, I actually gave them a name to make them interesting and a story. This is clean cat. Check out clean cat. It's made in black and gold plating. So clean cat is obviously not neutered, or perhaps he is, and it's obviously a male. Unless like females grow some ding dongs on it, <laughs> so Clean Cat is trying his best to clean himself, and I like how they managed to put make the details here. Can you see? I like how the details of the heart shaped paw pad. Yeah, I think it's gold color too. The back is the same. So this one is pretty okay, and what I do usually when I get my enamel pins is I will check every single one of them so put this back and let's go on to the next one I wonder how they stuff it into the box And we have the unicorn pin. So I decided to refresh ice cream the unicorn pin and make another unicorn. So this is the unicorn pin. Hey truffles. What's wrong? What are you doing, truffles? So this is my truffles. Um <laughs> this is the unicorn pin. And I decided to make it flying because uh did I just say because too many times? Oh well, uh, I had many feedbacks like mostly from kids. They have I ha actually have a sticker of this unicorn, and there are kids that go, or mostly little girls that go. Oh, it's flying! I want the sticker instead because it's a flying unicorn. Whereas I screamed the unicorn, the older enamel pin was just sitting down, and I don't know why they just like it flying. So I thought since I reprinted I screamed the unicorn a few times, let's refresh the design and. Do a flying unicorn so it can be like flying over or something and there's only one pin one here so same it's on gold since it's reflective gold plated as well and put it one side actually glad how it came out okay my last design i did four and throw this box aside. This bin is a corgi and it's a little different. Uh, it. Why must they seal it like this? Ah! Okay, corgi. This is unicorn. I have this design uh, as a t-shirt too. You can find it on my website. So it's like best of both worlds. Unicorn and Corgi. And I just... Oh yeah, that's Barney. That's my real Corgi. So this is the Unicorn. And I actually did it in uh, black plating. Because I, I knew it wouldn't work as if it's in gold. 
Because imagine if I have um, this color, orange, corgi, in gold, it won't look very contrasting, very, it won't look very nice in contrast, so I did a black plate instead. So this is a black plate with the same rubber on. Rubber band. Ah, see, it's all black. Not sure how they do it though. But I just noticed an issue where my artwork doesn't have this area. And I think their machine couldn't cut it, but they didn't inform me at all that, that this area would be an issue. If not, I would have drawn the wings further up. Yeah, and they didn't want to... Oh, look at it. This one has this problem too, so this might be a reject. So this is the thing about doing enamel pins and manufacturing. There's a lot of problem and they don't have very good QC. So let's see the others. Let me open another one. And see is it the same? Yeah, it looks the same. Yeah. I guess it's not avoidable. But I like the colours. So here are my pins. I only did a hundred each of four designs, so total I have four hundred pins now that I'm going to sell. And you can find them in SGCC or in my online store soon. So usually when I got the pins, as you can see, it's from like a plastic bag and I would... Uh, let me bring this up. Put this pin aside. So what I do is I create my own card backing for, my, for each individual pin and wear all the... Rather, this is how I package. This is how I package my pens. I suck at taking this out. Why is it so tight? Let's take one out first. The first... Okay, the first... The first cut back is Patches the Pirate. And apparently I spelled it correctly this time. There was once that I actually spelled Ice Cream the Unicorn wrongly and it became a... Uh, uni on instead of unicorn <laughs> and strangely people are, when i say that on facebook people were like messaging me and asking can i buy the one with the defected card bag which is pretty funny i must say and this is patches the pirate and <laughs> i'm actually saving money by not getting the printer to cut it in with individual cards for me because it's much cheaper to print your design on a piece of paper and cut it yourself compared to getting your printer to do the die cut for you and it will cost a lot so one piece of paper um this is a 250 gsm it costs about sing dollar 150 and if i were to i think i only printed like four pieces to cover uh, 100 pins I mean, if I print it as a set and got the printer to cut it for me, it might cost about 10 to 20 bucks just for the stack of cards. And I didn't want to spend that kind of money. Obviously, if you're starting out or if you're, uh, if you have, I mean, if you're starting out and doing business and stuff, you don't want to spend so much money. The problem and the troublesome part with this is that I need to cut it manually myself. And this is what I'm going to do now. I really don't know what I'm saying anymore. I, this whole YouTube thing is not scripted at all. I never plan. I never do things with a plan. It's very spontaneous. And you can probably hear children screaming in the background because I live near a playground. Okay, here are the cut bags that I've cut. That is like um, one piece of A3 size paper. And I got no idea how many there is. But uh, yes, look at my cutting. I'm <laughs> quite proud of my cutting. <laughs> it's not as perfect as a machine cut. But 
you need a very good pen knife. I mean, it's, although it's rusted, right? I'm always like breaking my pen knife blade and you make it very sharp. If you break it, you don't need to replace the whole blade. I mean, I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this. Yeah, just break the blade. You don't need to replace the whole damn blade. And it, it will be sharp. So I actually had, um, I actually studied Intermasic Poly, Visual Communication, and my course has a module where we actually learn how to cut stuff. Yes, it's literally a cutting module. Where we were like, I forgot what it's called, but it's, <laughs> there's a lot of cutting, so we use pen knife a lot, and I think it, I think it's a designer thing. Everybody knows how to cut stuff. So my cutting is rather straight and I'm very confident with a pen knife. <laughs> I just quite deadly, isn't it? Okay, so <laughs> enough of that. So this is what the card looks like. The back is blank. I mean, I could print another side, but that would be an extra cost. So I decided to oh, save the environment and not do it. And this belongs to Patches the Pirate. And this is Patches the Pirate enamel pin. And this is how I pin. Ah, take it out. Okay, I actually had this thing. Hold on. I actually used to pin my pins like this, like just stuff it into the back, press it down, and it will come out from the back. But I was watching this video by Bailey J, and in her vlog, she was using something like this, like a stack of corrugated paper stacked together. And she had, she had this here. Let me bring this camera down. So, okay, so Bailey had something like this all stacked together, and she had her cut here, and it made, and it seems a lot easier by just doing this. Let's see if it works. Make sure that it's centered and not covering my branding. Oh! Yes, yeah, she works. So, it, this makes it easier to pin and then he goes through the back and I just twist it and this is how I sell it so I just the pirate and this is what the pin looks like so this is how I sell it I mean I could also put a separate piece of plastic over this to make it like more presentable but I don't want to waste the money so I'm just going to sell it like this without any plastic I know it looks more professional if I put a plastic over it but I, I'm not going to use any plastics, just a piece of paper would do. So I'm going to go ahead, put this aside and start cutting the rest. Okay guys, I finished cutting my cut bag and this are uh, what they look like. So clean cat, because it's a clean cat, has a very clean design for the cut bag. Makes sense, right? And then we have ice cream, the unicorn in our pin. And this, oh my goodness, Bunny is barking. Bunny, shut up! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so ice cream, the unicorn has a heart shaped cut bag. And it's quite similar to my previous ice cream, the unicorn cut bag too. Same color. And unicorn girl has clouds because she's flying. So they look pretty similar. I think they're both unicorns, right? So yeah, these are my four designs. By the time this video is uploaded, it should be up online. Now the last step is just to take a proper photo for my website. And I'll do that in the room. Meanwhile, I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe for more videos. And I, I don't know, just subscribe and click on the bell button if you like what I'm doing. And thank you all for the support. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.